So we've been talking a lot about policy, government, experts. But when civil society responds, when you have people protest, like we saw in Ladakh, in Chhattisgarh, the resonance is not what you expect. And governments don't really react. So what do you have to say about that? When the governments handle these protests, do you, it comes across as rather confrontational. So but nature of protest is confrontational. So, but see, there are two things. One is follow up from what I was asked on the EIA and the forest clearances. Now, these processes had inbuilt ways of managing people's opinion so that it did not become a protest. You had a public hearing process. A public hearing was supposed to be broadcast, was supposed to be done in a way that you listen to people. Now, those processes have been diluted. Those public hearings, even if people come and say, ki is project mein ye ye hai, nobody listens to it. The project is still cleared. Now, if you listen to those views at that time, that issue does not become a point of conflict. After all, at the end of the day, it's all about my, my backyard and it's about what is it that people are worst affected by. Not everybody who comes to the protest is a paid lackey of the competitor. How these protests have been put out. I think this distrust in people has to be fixed because there is there are issues on which people are genuinely affected and there needs to be institutional processes to listen to them. Now, when those processes fail, obviously there's going to be confrontation, there's going to be protest, dissent. I think that's part of democracy and they have to be heard. I mean, I'm too old at this, so I was shocked. I have to say I was genuinely shocked at the way we treated the farmers' protest. Okay? I have never known of us barricading and all that. To me, it was an alien thing that you did that. I mean, I I am old enough to tell you Taketh came and lived here in the um, boat, boat, club, boat club, club for how long? Okay, I, I mean, and we all came here and we all came and saw the farm. That was part of India. That was part of the way it was. But then look at Europe. Look at the way their protests have been dealt with. Look at the student protest in the US today. They're sending in armed guards into universities. So I think there is a shift and that's scary. It's, it should worry us that there is a shift towards an intolerance towards listening to voices from the other side because you can label them as uh, something which is not done.